Hello and welcome to this video on Alt from Nano Modules. We'll of course check out the raw features and sound, but as it's a VCA, we'll also look at some more advanced patch tips and why you can't have enough VCAs in your Yoro rack systems. So let's check out what's to come. is an 8HP quad VCA for Eurorack. It's a linear VCA and to quote nano modules, it's designed to keep your signals clean and colorless. There's some graphics in the manual I'm going to overlay, but we'll just run down the features before getting straight into some patches. The first three channels have a manual level control, commonly labeled as gain, level or offset. It's just a manual level of those VCAs. The first three channels also have attenuverters, meaning we can positively add signal from the CV input or inverted and attenuate that signal. So we can add negative versions or phase inverted versions of those signals. That opens up some nice side chaining tricks that we'll look at later in the video. We've got our four VCA inputs, four CV inputs and four outputs. Channel 4 is different in that it emits the controls to give you a nicer, more playable layout on the first three channels. And because of that, CV input 4 normals 5 volts to the VCA, so it's always open. But when you plug a cable in, it removes that normalization and you can just control it like any other VCA. Alt also features cascaded mixing, where if we don't take an output physically plugging a cable in, it mixes to the next VCA. So for example, if I have sound into channels one and two and just come out of output two, it will come out as a mixed module. So this can be a basic four channel mixer, two two channel mixers, a simple VCA and a three channel mixer. And of course you can do this with CV control over the level at the same time, a mixing VCA or just a very basic mixer without CV should you wish to. I'd like to say thank you to Nano Modules for sponsoring this video. The timing index is on screen if you want to skip around, there's different patches. And we'll get into some more advanced patch tips, looking at CV modulating CV to modulate modulations and make more interesting advanced or complex modulations for your own patches with your VCAs too. So without further ado, let's dive in. So let's start by quickly looking at how a VCA works, what a VCA does, and specifically how Alt works. Have a sound here. This is a sequenced oscillator that I'm going to plug into channel one. And here's my output going to be recorded. Now the manual level control will simply open up this VCA. And so we can see the output of Alt. Let's patch into data there. And we can now see our output, the blue trace. And the VCA lets us use external signals to control the amplitude of the input. We're manually doing it here. But let's add this envelope from Quart. Again, this is the green trace there on data. Now turning this signal up so it affects that VCA. The LED shows us the level and this incoming signal. And we've got a very basic VCA, an envelope controlling its level. Because on the first three channels, we get both CV depth control and manual level, we can offset this. And we'll quickly just see how this mixing works. If I don't take an output, it will be present on the output next to it. So there's output two. Channel 2 is an active, but input 1 is mixing across, output 3, and output 4. If I plug a cable in, it removes it from this cascaded mixing. So simply plugging something into 1, it's now removed from this mix. Now VCA 4 is a little bit simpler, plugging my signal in, 
There's no controls, but it's normal to that high voltage to keep the VCA open, allowing you to put a signal in and mix it into the cascaded mixing on the module. But of course, plugging a signal in removes that normalized signal and simply lets us control the level again. Now this does go really nice and snappy. Nice tight, clicky, poppy VCA behavior if you want this super short snap. So that's how VCAs work and specifically how Alt works. So here we'll look at Alt as a basic mixer, a CV controlled mixer, and a little side chain trick with the inverted option on the CV depth controls. I will start by taking my output from output one. This is simply a kick drum coming into channel one and I'm turning it up, no CV control there. I then have a hi-hat which I'm going to add to channel two and come out of channel two. I can then use the gain to simply mix those together. I also have a simple bass line through some reverb. So coming out of free, here's free signals. Mixed together, very basically. We're gonna leave the bass out for now. And we'll start by using a CV signal to control the level of the hi-hats. So CV of channel two there. We can see this CV and also the LED on Alt showing us that this channel is being controlled by the LFO. And the side chain trick that I have here is to trigger an envelope in time with my kick drum. So I've splitting off the signal that triggers the kick drum module and triggering quartz here for an envelope. If I use that into channel two, and it's this signal, we can hear it plays in time with the kick. That may be desirable, but to get a nice ducking sidechain-like effect, we can just close off the CV depth, add manual level, and then invert our CV. So instead of coming up when the kick hits, it pushes the level down and comes back up to the manual level we've set. Now, as much as I like those sidechained hi-hats, let's go for sidechained bass. So again, adding some level, and inverting the CV. Let's add the LFO back to hi-hat level. So here's a quick tip for making more advanced, more exciting, more interesting modulation from simple sources. I've zoomed in so we can see the shapes on the scope that bit better. I have a sound into font, the filter here, bandpass filter, and a looping envelope coming in there on the green trace. Now modulating the filter cutoff with that. Simple basic looping envelope or LFO like behavior. But simply using a VCA channel and another just free running looping envelope LFO to control the level of this signal, we get some way more interesting modulations. So I'll just quickly patch that up. So now this modulation, the one that we were listening to, is going through the top channel, the first channel on Alt. And we can hear that manual gain just gives us the exact same response. But using the blue trace there, a different looping envelope to control the level of the green one, we get this yellow trace, the bottom one, and that's now what modulates the filter. And we can of course scale that depth of modulation, add some manual level, start to play around with these basic shapes. So here I'm using Alt as just four single VCAs. There's none of the cascaded mixing going on, which we'll look at later. And I've built up quite an advanced patch, but by using lots of simple techniques in succession to build this more dynamic patch. I'll let you hear it for a second. And just a more interesting, engaging patch over what could be a very basic subtractive patch. My sound comes into VCA one with the envelope green trace there, controlling its level. Basic VCA stuff. The output of VCA1 comes into VCA2, with the pink trace and this looping envelope controlling its level again. So it's amplitude modulated by an envelope on one, 
and an LF horn too. This feeds my filter coming straight out of output 2 and audio rate modulation is brought up and down with an LFO to feed and modulate the filter. And now I'm using an LFO to control the amount of signal that's split off into my reverb to give me this dynamic effect send. So here I'm using Alt as both a mixer and as an auto panner with a kind of stereo auto pan like effect. Now turning down my channels and my left and right audio here is VCA1 panned hard left, VCA2 hard right. But before the sound even comes in and I can just turn these up, I'm mixing two sources together. VCA4 is this drum break no CV over 4 and on input 3, VCA3 I have this modulated tone mixing that with Alt so VCA3 and 4 coming out of 4 this is coming into a multiple simply so I can split this signal into inputs 1 and 2 exactly the same sound, the mix of the drums and the synth into both sides Mix in some of that synth. And now by using the same LFO or looping envelope, again through a multiple patched into CV input 1 and CV input 2, I can control the levels. We'll start on the left hand side with positive modulation. And you can hear that fading in and out. And on the right hand side, VCA2, I'll simply turn up the level and invert this LFO to pull the gain down on this channel as it goes up on this channel, giving us this auto pan effect. And if I play around with this looping envelope, that's going to be my panning. So in this patch, we'll explore dynamic AM synthesis, amplitude modulation synthesis. It's great because you get FM-like overtones with AM synthesis, but without the pitch drift, because we're not modulating frequency, we're modulating amplitude. It's dynamic here because we can see that this blue trace is modulating this wave dynamically, all under envelope control. Now it could be static AM synthesis, works just as well. My actual output is being envelope controlled, that could be static. And then static AM, sounds great on alt, or dynamic AM, or no modulation at all. So by turning down these channels and modulations, let's run through what's going on. The top sine wave, the green trace, is my input signal, it's coming into input channel 1 but I am coming back into channel 3 for some amplitude control because I need two VCAs here to make this patch one to control the overall level which I'm doing on VCA3 with an envelope and we can see the output there is now dynamic it's this sine wave controlled by an envelope through VCA3 I have my modulation signal, the blue trace, coming in to VCA2 I'm playing with and modulating my modulation, this is where this becomes dynamic, the signal before it goes to modulate VCA1. And if you remember, VCA1 is simply my input signal. So if I was to turn up VCA2, that's letting this sound through to the CV input to AM modulate VCA1. And we can see that wave shaping that that does, the AM synthesis there. I do this dynamically by using an envelope to control the modulation before it hits CV of VCA1. And by using different envelopes to my main control there over the output and the one for the actual modulation, the AM there, I've got a nice dynamic interesting patch. Let's add a pitch sequence to both my modulation source and my main sine wave. 
So that's using three VCAs, one to modulate my modulation, then taking that into the top one to modulate my main sound, and then taking that into the third channel to control the overall level at the output. Dynamic AM synthesis. So that's it, a nice colourless clean quad VCA in 8HP from Nano Modules. Hit like, subscribe, leave a comment with any questions or your favourite ways to use VCAs, it'd be great to discuss that in the comments section. Support my work on patreon.com forward slash divkid. I'll see you next time. Cheers for watching.